Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. God bless each and every one of you. I'm sitting here on the side of the road because I'm running a little bit early. <laughs> I'm uh, on my way over to see my buddy Mike over at uh, Mike Reed Outdoors in uh, Bland County, Virginia. So uh, just thought I'd film a little intro. Tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys that are uh, new to the channel. Uh, got a lot of new subs and uh, appreciate, uh, sorry for the occasional vehicle. Appreciate all the uh, folks that have been around for a while and are sticking around. I just uh, uploaded uh, a Montana video. So this one's gonna be in between some more Montana videos in case you guys are wondering what's going on. Uh, this is kind of a channel update and a hangout with Mike video. I'm sure he may do a little video and on his channel too. Go over and check him out at uh, Mike Reed Outdoors if you've not done so. Mike's been around on the channels or on the YouTube a lot longer than I have. Uh, he was actually kind of one of the inspirations for me starting my channel. But uh, Mike's been doing it for a long time. I think he uh, might have been the first video loaded on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, he does some great stuff, guys. But we got a fun day planned. We're going to ride around Dismal over here in Virginia. I think it's Bland and Giles County. And uh, we also got a uh, hike and cook planned. We're uh, going to go up to the Wapiti Shelter where um, the Appalachian Trail murders happened back in the 80s. Yeah, here comes another truck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy this little video and uh, hang out between us we uh, we have a good time when we get to get together maybe once or twice a year the stars align and and we get to hang out but uh i really really enjoy mike he uh have a lot of respect for him and uh just love his content and uh today should be a real real enjoyable day but uh i won't keep yakking I just wanted to do a little opening for the video. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, we're three days away from the big day. And uh, just remember the reason for the season, guys. It, it ain't about Santa Claus and, and uh, presents. It was about the ultimate present that, that uh, God gave his son to us on Christmas Day. Uh, just, just remember that. And... Uh, hope you guys have a merry christmas god bless each and every one of you and we'll see you in the woods man that's a huge tree right there yeah Big old white pine. Pretty country in here, folks. Mike and I are headed to the Wapiti Shelter. He took me on a nice ride this morning getting to check out some uh, beautiful back roads here in the National Forest. A lot of rhododendron in here. Alright guys, we just got off the blue trail. We're getting on to the AT now. It's marked in white. Yep. Let's put your white blazes on. Mike knows all these back roads and shortcuts. Uh-huh. You can come out on that Lions Den Road. Okay. And you can walk the Lions Den all the way to Wapiti. Okay. Or you can walk it all the way back out to the main road. I got you. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got something to eat early. It's 
Check out this road to dinner tunnel, guys. Cool old bridge. A bunch of these little bridges on this trail crossing uh, Dismal Creek. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good flat. There's been very little elevation change on this hike, but it's uh, two miles to the shelter. We got to be getting pretty close. Mike said we're getting super close. This is the uh, dam side of a lake that's up here. Right in the middle of daggone nowhere. <laughs> Should have brought our fishing rods, Mike. Holy cow, that's a big old lake. Wow. Check it out. Right here in the middle of nowhere. Holy cow. It sure is. Pretty country. Some of us up here have seen a snapping turtle out there about the size of a big old bucket. Oh yeah? Swimming around right up there <laughs> in the pond there. No skinny dipping in this one. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you might yeah. be missing some things when you come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll know it. You drag it to the bottom. Oh man. Did you ever eat green briar do Hickey's Lewis? Uh-uh. What -uh. plants? Green briar. Green briar berries. Mm -hmm. Sure well, I gotta try one here. The deer, the deer love him, things. Huh. Hmm. Don't swallow the speed. Mm -mm. mm -hmm. Too bad. That's a clean possible out here. It's, it's better than turkey tail. <laughs> it's better than chewing chew gum in the woods. <laughs> Here we are. It's AT and the Wapiti shelter. Uh, I see the roof of it up here. It's, it's up here on top of the hill. I doubt it. Most of your hikers are going to be hiking during the day, I would think. You got up and gone? I would think. There it is. Nice shelter. Got the privy down there. Hopefully I won't go around here and stick a camera in somebody's face. Nah. Nah, nobody here. Here's your big treble hook. Yep. 
Pretty cool. Picnic table and Yeah. Nice. Well, I see Mike's doing exactly what I want to do. Get this pack off. <laughs> Guess what I brought? You bring. I brought wild turkey and wild rice. Similar situation. I right? thought if we was going to build a fire, this ripped too many in here, baby. Yeah. It wouldn't get out. But... Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. Well, I've not used this thing, but maybe once. I've got about three different stove setups. You got any of these insulated bottles? You ever seen the tree just fell? And... Yeah, I don't have any like that. They don't sweat. Put them in your pack. They'll stay hot or cold. It's an insulated bottle. That's pretty slick. Mm -hmm. Keeps that, keeps we that gonna, water. Uh, we're going to make uh, old Carolina Chris happy today. Yeah, we're going to make him eat his heart out. We're going to eat your heart out. We're going to do a little canteen cook, canteen cup cooking here, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one of these little Trangias and I've never used it. I've tried it at the house, but as far as doing much, I ain't done much with it. I did a video on this and got it for free, Lewis. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. I've got a little stove like that. I have cooked a little bit on too, but it's black. <laughs> Heavy? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh, you got a on. Uh, you cooked in that for you cooked over the last place we did. No, I think I used something different over there. This is this was a Jeff Meadows idea right here of this Trangia. He's full of all kind of ideas. Yeah, yeah. Jeff. Do fucking get it out of balance there and turn it over. Get good and steamy then. I actually need to get out and use my kit a lot more than I do. Yeah, I like to get out this this cook and goof off and do that kind of stuff. I tend to do more uh, working, yeah. working than playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You take it wrong, but it'll do it get hot now. I don't know how much alcohol I put in this thing. Probably put too much already. Light it up. <laughs> Is that something you bought or like Yeah, it? yeah, you know, it's a like little Trangia. You he had his made. Yeah, Jeff made his out of a pot of some, or a... Potted meat. Potted meat can, yeah. That's all you gotta do, just do a hole in it. Yeah, I've actually made some stoves and tried it. Tell you what might work better. Yeah. I feel rusty, Mike. It's been too long. Rusty? <laughs> I feel rusty. Let's try this. I know I did this at the house. Oh, you're going to light it up. Hold on, let me get you lighting it up, Russell. Maybe. There you go. Look at me like it lit. That's what I thought.
I don't want to knock it over. There. The wind is the wind. The wind, the wind. Get that yeah. on you, dude. What are we going to do? The alcohol won't burn. <laughs> <laughs> You sure it's alcohol? You mix no water. There it goes. It'll start and then it quits. I knew I should have brought the jet boil. <laughs> it just uh, it just starts on the there's, there's not enough wind on it blowing it there to mess it up, is it? I wonder if it's not getting enough. Hey, Lewis, you got, you, got a light, you got a piece of paper or something you like? Like, uh, it stick it down in the There it is. Well, you got there it? it is. There it is. Is it cooking time? Yeah, it's cooking time now. Did you see you serious? Yeah. I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a blue flame. All right. All right, that's all you need. Yeah. I think it didn't run out again. You serious? Yeah. Well, is there, is there, I, I ain't never done it before. Is there a method? Of, can you have like too much in it or something? I don't know. It looks like it's burning. Well, it's burning. Okay. I don't know if it'll keep burning. <laughs> <laughs> With the wind. Uh, we're going to find out. That's what that is, is a little wind. When, when I get mine, uh, I may end up having to borrow yours. <laughs> you can cook all mine. Well, it's, <laughs> take mine, it's boy, it'll take long to cook oatmeal. Yeah, my buddy uh, Dave killed a, a bird. And, Made me some uh, rice and wild turkey, so yeah, it's sizzling. You eat like a king. Got veggies in. I'll have to. Hey, Rich, you're gonna have to do a video on that right there, <laughs> on how to get that lit and, uh -huh. keep, and keep it lit. What's the trick? <laughs> Luck, I reckon. Now you don't you don't have to have a steel or a heat, you know, a rod there to do that with you. you just, no, you can use a lighter. I've you know, actually got a lighter in my pocket. Light it up on the lighter. I was just kind of throwing the, the thing looked like it was throwing the sparks. Yeah, it's still blue. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. bird was walking around in the woods there a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my buddy Dave. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> him and Old River. Old River, the uh, bird dog. I smell them dried apples coming to the front now. Yeah. That's a good way to carry them apples. I look dry. like I got a flea market going on over here. <laughs> Yeah, you got the survival gear in there, Lewis. Unfortunately, you, I have to work a whole lot and don't get the time to you are, use it. You are prepared. <laughs> yeah, I hear it sizzling. That's good. It didn't take you long, did it? No, once I got it lit. Burn, you crazy thing. Before I start, I'm afraid day. to move. Done deal. The old infamous Wapiti shelter. Yep, hard to believe you. Hard to believe such a peaceful, uh, pleasant place could be the site of something tragic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've got a jet boil, and then I've got a little stove just like that too. I was like, man, what am I going to cook? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's smoking good. 
Too bad you ain't here, Chris. We can have a canteen cup cookout. <laughs> He'd have a gourmet meal cooked up for you. Chris, we didn't bring you hot sauce, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it don't go good with oatmeal. Yeah. All right. We didn't find any uh, chocolate covered raisins on the way up either. <laughs> None that we're going to eat anyway. <laughs> Ready to set some hot chocolate on there. <laughs> you got set? I think I got a little bit in the pack or something. I got two packs. Pack, pack I don't got them in there. I ain't much of a coffee drinker. <laughs> I like some Swiss Miss. I think that's what I'm going to them guys that, that was telling me about the footsteps, that dirt tent set up over right there on the other side of that uh, hmm. grill right there. Footsteps. You didn't watch that video, have you? I might have just I met two hikers it. was here, and they, and they I, thought they I started heard. telling them about this being the real. Yeah. They said this this what where it happened. I said, oh yeah, it was too. So. They started telling me, and I made them tell me two or three times, so they mm -hmm. so, so I could see if they tell me different stories. They, they, one had a tent over here, and the bigger, the bigger guy had one over here, and he said, as soon as the fire went out, somewhere around 11 o'clock at night, you got your sleeping bags, they heard footsteps right. in the camp. So the, one of them, it scared him. He said he just hunkered down his sleeping bag and laid there. The big guy said he unzipped, he, he saw a shadow right. outside his tent. He opened, he's unzipped the tent and there wasn't nobody there. Mm. Huh. Ghost stories of the Wapiti Shelter. The only thing they changed about the original shelter in the beginning of the, the, they, they ripped the floorboards out of it. Uh huh. Because naturally, you know, if you. Mm -hmm. If you kill somebody in here and they bleed all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. They have blood all over the floor. And uh, that's really how they how they finally figured out that uh, that the murder had been committed here because when they come up here that the killer had took the charcoal out of the fire. Yeah. And he had rubbed it all over the bottom of the shelter to cover uh, the really? blood stains up. And the police officers took his knife down between the cracks of these boards. Come up with blood. Yep. They what a story. They knew something was a ride in. They say they were buried about 100 yards right over there. Mm. Just, found, just found a dip in between, between some logs and buried the poor old people in there. Awful. Yeah. He won't do it no more, though. No. Nope. He goofed up. Let's see if that fire's still going. She's going down. I think it's gone. She toast? You burn it all up? I think I did. Shoot, that's good. Look, I mean, you cooked you. <laughs> you cooked you a good meal, or like it. To be honest with you, I think I got enough hot chocolate. Yeah. Did you get yeah. it hot? Yeah, I think it's hot enough. We're going to try it anyway. I come over here at last time I was over here. Listen, I walk. Oh, shoot, probably 300 yards circle. Zigzagged all the way through there to see if, if that dude had been over here just spying this place out again. Right. Just to see if I, I didn't see anything, any sign of anybody been doing that. But yeah. I thought, I thought he probably would have. Just you know, reminiscing about his right. That's crazy. You yeah, know, what people do on. that. I mean, it, they people do that. Mind. Yeah. I'm not even sorry, Dean. It's uh, crazy to think that somebody went to prison for that, and then gets out and comes back to do it again. You know. Yeah. yeah sure enough. Hmm. Uh, perfect. Mm. That's perfect right there. Perfect. Little hot chocolate. 
Oh, hot chocolate. I thought rat. you was going to fire up some chocolate there, Mike. <laughs> My belly's too full. Let's see here. And it wins, right? Well, you said they said.